guys hi welcome back so in this video we will discuss about the branch point singularity right and in the previous lectures we have seen all the topics related to the complex analysis and this is going to be the last lecture okay so we will just have a general review of the concept of branch point singularity okay we will not study in that much detail i will just give you a concept what branch point singularity is so before going into branch point singularity there is an important word that will be you that we will be using okay that is multi valued function all right so what is a multi valued function suppose if you have a function fz okay and corresponding to each value of fz if you have more values okay more than two values okay more than two distinct values then this function fz is said to be multi valued function we have seen function fz is what suppose you have e to the power z sin z phi root z etc okay if you will put any value of z and corresponding to each value of z if you have more than two distinct values then it is said to be multi valued function okay single valued function we know if you put any value of z and corresponding to each value if you have one value of the function then that is single valued all right so here you can write the definition of multi valued function all right what is multi valued function you can write fz is called a multi valued function okay if it has two or more distinct values corresponding to each value of z okay if corresponding to each value each value of z if you are having two or more distinct values then that is a multi valued function clear now we will come to the concept of branch point singularity so for this if you consider a function which is multi valued okay i am considering let fz equals to one example only i am considering from here root of a 5 z okay 5 root z this is a multi valued function okay this is a multi valued function now if you see here corresponding to each value of fz you will have five distinct values yes or no so here what you will see here corresponding to each value of z okay we get five distinct values of fz all right so here if you see we already know z is equals to what z is r e to the power i theta yes or no so fz can be written as what r to the power 1 by 5 will be there and e to the power i yes or no and here what you will have it is theta 1 by 5 i am writing this is r1 okay this i am writing z is equals to z1 okay for z equals to z1 i am considering this okay suppose you are taking z is equals to z1 and for this you will have the function to be this now you see suppose this is the real axis this is the imaginary axis okay i am considering a loop here this angle i am considering to be theta 1 this point is z equals to z1 now what you will do when you will move okay around this loop this loop is c suppose okay this i'm loop i'm considering to be to c now when you will move around this loop c by one complete cycle okay completing one cycle around this point o z equals to 0 sorry around this point z equals to 0 if you will complete one cycle you will come back to this point z equals to z1 yes or no you will be at the same point but the value of theta 1 it will increase yes or no when it will move around z equals to 0 by one complete cycle then theta 1 will increase to what theta 1 plus 2 pi okay and at same place okay 
we will be at same point that is what z equals to z1 okay but the value of fz will be what this time fz will be equals to what it will be r1 to the power 1 by 5 only but e to the power i this time theta will be what it will be theta 1 plus 2 pi by 5 okay in the similar way after two complete cycle you will have what it will be 4 pi then you will have 6 pi yes or no so after five complete cycles about z equals to zero the value of fz will be repeated okay so what will happen hence after five complete cycles okay around what around z equals to zero the value of fz will be repeated clear that is for a single value of z you will have five different values okay so you can write it as fz is equals to what fz is equals to 5 root over z which can be written as what r e to the power i okay theta plus 2k pi suppose i'm writing okay and outside 1 by 5 k will be equals to 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay first one without rotation then one cycle then two then three then four five is not there okay up to four because it will have five distinct values clear now you see these five different values okay when it will be what first it will be what nothing is i theta 1 by 5 then you will have what 2 pi then 4 pi that way so these five different values of fz they are said to be the branches okay here i will write the five different values of fz okay are said to be the branches it is said to be the branches of the multi-valued function f z all right and the corresponding theta will be what corresponding theta will be for the first one theta is greater than equals to what zero but less than two pi for the second one theta is what theta is greater than equals to 2 pi but less than 4 pi again you will have theta is greater than equals to 4 by 4 pi less than 6 pi again theta is greater than equals to what 6 pi less than 8 pi theta is greater than equals to 8 pi less than 10 pi okay these are the five different interval okay so here this first interval okay this is the first interval the first interval it is said to be as principal branch of theta okay the first interval it is called what principal branch okay the first interval is called the principal branch of theta and the value of fz corresponding to this will be this said to be the principal branch of the function okay and corresponding value of fz is the principal branch remember this okay now you see how you got different values of fz by moving around z equals to zero yes or no we have different values of fz okay by successive okay by successive rounds about z equals to zero right 
then z equals to zero, it is said to be the branch point. Okay, so here z equals to zero is the branch point of the function f z. Okay, branch point is that point about which, on moving successively, you will get different values. Clear? One more thing you will have to remember is that at the branch point, na the function is non-differentiable. Remember this. Okay, this is a very important thing. We will see the characteristics of the branch points. So this is going to be the last thing. Okay, we will see the characteristics of branch points. All right. So what are the things which we have seen till here? We have seen that multi-valued functions are those functions which is having different value for one single value of z. Okay. So how we can see around any point if the function is repeating. Okay. Afterward, completing the five different values, it will repeat now. So about the point about which you will repeat, that is the about which you will what move around to get different values of the function that is the branch point and the different distinct values are said to be what the branches of the function yes or no the first interval okay it is the principal branch of theta and the value corresponding to that is the principal branch of the function okay now we will see the characteristics of the branch point so you will see at branch points, the multi-valued function is not differentiable. Okay. At branch point, the multi-valued function fz is not differentiable. That is, fz is not analytic. That is, fz is not analytic at at branch point okay second thing you will have to see is that at branch points the value of the branches of fz are equal okay at branch point the value of the branches of fz are equal okay so these are the two very important values of what two very important characteristics of branch point and you have to remember principal branch of a multi-valued function is always analytic okay this is the principal branch here so at this branch what will be there the function will be always analytic so these are the things that you will have to remember. Clear? You can see one example also. If I take fz is equals to what? If I take fz is equals to root over z square plus one, you can write two root over what? Z plus i, z minus i. Okay? You have to check the first derivative. When you will do so, I am taking one by two. Okay? This is the function this is 2 okay this is within this okay so when you will differentiate it will come 1 by 2 and it will be what 1 by root over z plus i z minus i again differentiating this term u into with v so what you will get first you will get z plus i okay plus then you will get z minus i all right yes or no so it will give you 1 by 2 so when you will do this root over z plus i root over z plus i so it will get cancelled in the numerator you will have z plus i in the denominator z minus i plus here also root over z minus i root over z minus i z minus i so in the numerator you will have z minus i in the denominator you will have z plus i okay so here you will see the function is what double value function of z clear now at which point the function is what not an analytic z square is equals to 1 z is equals to plus minus i at this point the function is what the function is not differentiable okay 
at this point it is what analytic it is differentiable but at z square equals to plus minus i okay the function is not differentiable okay that is not analytic so this is how you can find that this is what we know at branch points the multiply function is what not differentiable and the function is not analytic so you will have what two branch points here z is equals to plus minus i, I. okay so at z equals to plus minus i the value of two branches okay of fz are equal to zero okay because at branch points the value of what the branches are equal clear so you will have two branch points z is equals to plus minus i because at this point the function is not differentiable at other points it is analytic that is it is differentiable clear so this is how you can see the branch points how you can see the branch points okay so this much concept of branch points is enough for you so that's all in this video okay so i hope this will help you to understand the concept you can just have a look you can see we have the concept is very simple it is just related to the multi value function and how you can see different values okay what is the branch what is the branch point which is the principal branch value and which is the principal bra branch of theta clear and you will have to remember the characteristics of branch points the characteristics of branch point is what that at branch point the function will be what not analytic it is not differentiable and at branch point the value of the branches it is always equal okay and you will have to remember principal branch of multi value function is always analytic okay you know what is the principal branch okay the first interval okay corresponding to the first interval which value you will get that is the principal branch all right so this that's all in this video thank you so much have a good day